Hey, what's going on everybody? Josh Cathcart back here, Harbaugh Academy in Pearland, Texas with Hitting Done Right. All right, for this next video, we are gonna get into dropping of the hands. Super common problem with young players, even up into the high school ages, if not fixed, okay? It's not necessarily about where your hands are in launch. You're gonna see players that have their hands a little higher. You're gonna see players that get down here. What we want to avoid is getting those hands dropping, like literally coming in and dropping down early towards the hip on the backside. The other thing, and people don't talk about it as much, but the hands coming in and down as we step, okay? But the actual, as I get into my swing, the first move is down here to get my hands down to ball level. Remember, we want to stay above the baseball with our hands, okay? That's how the barrel is going to work as we get into our turn here. Hands above the ball, barrel works below the hands, matching up with our shoulders to get us on plane, on path, okay? So, huge problem with young players. Some of it is just strength, okay? Some of it is timing. They're late, they start late and then they see that ball and they wanna take their hands down to that ball, it's a natural reaction. We have to train them to create the separation, number one, as we get into our launch position, but then really learning to keep those hands high, and it starts with this pivot move up here as we get going toward where we need to take the barrel. Okay, so this video, all about not dropping the hands, okay? Two really simple drills, not even gonna hit a ball, and then one at the end that should really help players feel connecting high and keeping those hands high in their swing. Again, really common problem. Be patient with the players. This is kind of like the dragging back elbow issue. It's not gonna fix itself overnight. What I can tell you is you can always put your hands on them, right? Take your hand as a coach and simply hold the bat right here as they stride and just keep their hands up. Most of the time it's happening as they're getting into that landing, they're dropping the hands. So simply put your hand underneath the knob, hold that knob where you want it and let them stride out to launch and just feel that repeatedly where we're getting into a consistent handset. If the drop is happening, they look good in launching and then the first move is this, that's where these drills are gonna come into play. All right, so again, two simple ones, and then we'll get into a swing drill. All right, let's go ahead and dive into this. This is gonna be our strength element, okay? This is gonna be our dumbbell turn. All right, this is an eight pounder. Obviously, adjust according to strength of player. All right, I've got this elevated T. This is at chest high here. Um, I've got it set on the inner third of home plate, and I'm gonna get close. You could take it all the way. You could come all the way to the inside. What you don't wanna do is have them start pushing this at the ball. All right, you're gonna to wanna to set that up kind of right in the middle of your body, okay? Right out front of that front elbow. And then you're just gonna think about turning that front elbow inside and coming, and you can actually knock that ball off with this, okay? If they're not strong enough, obviously they're gonna drop down as they start to. If that's their first move, you may see that. We wanna think about taking this right across our chest level with where we started, okay? It's not gonna drop down and then come up at this. Level for where we started, turn, knock the ball off right there. Just a very simple strength building drill and movement pattern, all right? So that is your dumbbell turn, keeping those hands up, getting that sequence right. Right in there, knock that ball off. All right, drill number two. All right, this one you've seen before probably. This is a separation drill most commonly used for. Okay, this PVC is gonna be stuck in the ground back here. It's gonna be about at the same angle we would be when we are in launch, just drop that down and hold, okay? This is for those kids that they wanna come and start bringing their hands with them, okay? Or they start getting here and they wanna start kinda of leaning back where their hands would be dropping down, all right? So, start with the hands. This is right here at shoulder height, okay? Holding on to that PVC, I like to start a little more narrow and just stride out into that launch and make sure that this isn't coming with us or that they're not wanting to get kind of going back this way when they do it. Because if this PVC wasn't on the ground and I started to do that, my hands would end up low, okay? We gotta keep the hands high. 
you ever got high across the chest, take the hands across the chest, it's a great thought process for any players that's going to drop them down. So if I had here, I want to think about taking my hands kind of right across this way instead of dropping down below the PVC. So very, very simple. This is a great station. It practices for young players. Again, just hold there, stride out, and keep those hands high. All right, y'all. Drill number three. Okay, this is going to be our more, this is going to be our swing drill for this. Okay, I've got the back knee down, and I want to think about keeping my hands above the ball. Okay, this ball is elevated. It's about chest high, right underneath my chest. Okay, and right in the middle of home plate. My front foot is set where it would be in my normal launch position, that same distance away. You don't want to get right in here, okay? It's going to kind of jam us up a little bit. So get that foot set where you normally would, and then back knee down. You may want to think about taking the hands right across the face for this one, for the young ones first. We want to be able to keep those hands high above the ball as we get into our turn. You're still going to get that barrel slightly below the hands, okay? This is going to happen no matter what the level of pitch is. It's just going to be a little more flat up here. What we are watching out for is that first move where we start to kind of come forward and they drop those hands down. Got to be able to stay centered and work those hands above the ball. Again, hands high. Should be a line drive right there. So, okay, high connection, back knee down. Great drill, again, make it a station at your practices. Get those kids really learning to feel that high connection, hands above the baseball. So that's gonna conclude the video on stop dropping your hands, okay? Huge, huge issue, like I said at the beginning with young players, they're late and they wanna get those hands going, they've been told to take their hands to the ball, so they drop their hands down. We have to keep the hands above the ball to allow the barrel to work under the hands, proper plane, proper path. All right, these three drills should really help get you started if you do have players that have this issue. If you have any other questions on this, you got one that you just can't break, you've tried everything, um, and you think I could help you, please reach out. I hope y'all are liking the channel. Like and subscribe. I'll keep them coming. Y'all keep helping those young players get better. Y'all be good.